Hello! Welcome to this video tutorial on how to obtain online middle school materials for distance learning in Washoe County School District. The purpose of distance learning is to reinforce skills you have been developing throughout this school year. And this time will serve as a way to extend that learning. We are not asking you to learn new skills and information, only to support yourself in strengthening the concepts you have already been taught. As you begin working on your assignments from home, staff are here to work virtually with all families and accommodate all the varying circumstances families are experiencing. Keep in mind, students can electronically submit assignments to their teachers using Microsoft Teams, or they can hold on to their completed assignments until they return to school. Staff members will connect with students and families about the best communication methods. Communication methods may include email, Microsoft Teams, phone calls, or other methods that work best for families and teachers. Hours of availability will be established for contacting staff. This work will not be graded. Feedback will be provided to the student. If you have internet access and multiple computers, tablets at home, please consider accessing these materials electronically so that families who need access can pick up paper packets. If you need a paper packet for your child, please see the schedule and locations page by clicking the Paper Distribution Schedules and Locations link. In this video, you will learn how to navigate the distance learning website, open and view the distance learning calendar, and understand the distance education learning plan. Navigate the Distance Learning website. To access the Distance Learning website, go to www.washelschools.net. Click Students, Parents. Under the letter D, click the Distance Learning and Family Wellness link. This takes you to a welcome page to include links to all resources available for distance learning. To access middle school online materials, click the middle school link from the welcome page. Click on the grade level that pertains to you as a student. In our example, we will click on the seventh grade link. This takes you to the seventh grade distance learning page. As a middle school student, there are two steps to follow to obtain content for your classes. These include calendar and assignments. Step one, calendar. To begin, click on the step number one calendar link. This opens a document in a separate tab in the browser that lists the academic assignments. Complete the content for the class you are enrolled in on the day assigned. Depending on your school schedule, you may not have all the class periods listed on this schedule. If you aren't enrolled in one of these course periods, you don't have anything to complete. For instance, if you don't have an eighth period, you aren't responsible for assignments for eighth period. Some elective courses will not be included in these documents. That information will come directly from the teacher. You will notice that the same class periods are listed every other day. You will use this calendar document to determine what work needs to be done for each class period. It is a good idea to list your whole schedule in order, or print it out from Infinite Campus so it is easier to follow the distance learning calendar. These periods will match with the next step in this process. It is highly recommended throughout the day to enrich your academic day through the social and emotional learning signature practices contained in this calendar document. Step 2. Assignments The next step is to view the actual assignments. To begin, click the distance learning link corresponding to the dates to complete work. In our example, we will click on Step number 2, Distance Learning 
April 1st through the 17th. You can also click on the image to the left, which takes you to the same page. A Distance Education Learning Plan document will open up in a separate tab that contains all the content areas for the grade level. Check the calendar document to see what period is assigned for that day. As you can see, I am in Lesson 1 column, and my course is Math 7. When learning about expressions and equations, all I have to do is pick one to two tasks to complete from the list of activities. In my example, I will click on the Writing Expressions link, and this is what I need to complete for this day of work for Math 7. Repeat this process to complete all class assignments matching with the period schedule from the calendar document. Some documents may be formatted differently depending on the course you are enrolled in. Just remember to complete the lesson assigned to the period for that day. Keep in mind that all documents can be downloaded and saved to your computer by clicking on the Download button or you can choose to print them if you want a hard copy. If you do not have access to a printer, you can complete your work on any paper you have available at home. Remember, you are not expected to drop off your completed assignments at the school. Please hold on to your assignments until school is back in session, or contact your school for how to turn in your assignments electronically. Each school is creating a plan for which teachers you will be communicating with. Please refer to your individual schools to learn more about how you can turn in your assignments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on how to obtain online middle school materials through the Distance Learning website.